Good afternoon. We're so glad here we daily vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Teddy's it's, swinging dinner. <laughs> it's almost the weekend. Work is done on this Thursday until unless I get like a, a work call. I don't know if we told you guys I have a work phone now. Um, huge project went live today, so I could get like a hey, we need your help, but I doubt it. Um, Sarah cooked an amazing dinner I have to show to you. It looks delicious. I snuck a couple bites. Tastes delicious. And then we're going to Epcot because we haven't been to Disney World in like 17 weeks. Here we are. Here are our bowls. I didn't show a little step-by-step. -step. I don't know why I'm trusting Teddy with this corn. But I made a little corn cauliflower rice bake with cheddar cheese, pulled pork with spicy sweet barbecue sauce, potatoes and zucchini in the air fryer, and a sweet and spicy coleslaw with like hot sauce and honey. Wow. Mayo drizzled with barbecue sauce. Delicious. Just call me Fort Wilderness. Wow. Hey, Fort Wilderness. You want to go to Epcot tonight? I don't like corn. That's pretty good. <laughs> Sarah and I have a thing because um, they want all the bags to go through security, so I usually wear the backpack and then bring the stroller through to go like, to the stroller check, and Sarah takes the bags. And something set off the bags today, so I win. We win, guys. Mama got stuck. Good luck, you're nuts. Um, can you hear that beautiful music? It's definitely gonna rain. We didn't bring our rain gear. It's got that rain breeze. It's really hot. A real cool breeze comes through. Oh, there's an after hour sign. There was a lot of traffic coming in, like to the point where like there was a like a half mile backup, and we we're like, what's the deal? What's the deal? Why is there so much? Why do they only go down the one? There was only one turn, like car security thing open. What's the, why is that? Because there's an after hours tonight. Should have known. Where are you, Nemo? Who's Nemo? He's my son. You know that. I do. We went on a huge adventure. <laughs> Typically, we've been starting our days at Epcot. At least when we park at the front, at the seas, the boys get so excited to be here. It's like a great way to start off. Usually not a long wait. We love Nemo. Flowers, they're beautiful. Ooh, a little spiky. We went totally rogue. And we're in Canada first tonight. We just like, the kids were out of the stroller and we were, they were ready to go on the stroller for a snack and we knew that if we walked past Mexico they'd be like, they to fiesta all day. <laughs> that Casper? Yeah? It came out of nowhere. Did you see him? <laughs> no. I was walking around like, wow, there's nobody over here. And there was like, like oh, can I help you? <laughs> there's also major construction going on. I know, I felt like... like... <laughs> <laughs> That's a World Showcase baby. <laughs> When you can get some AC, pass them by the Guinness stuff. Did you guys know that they're opening up a Guinness distiller in Chicago? But it's going to be nice and big and huge and wonderful and delicious. I've been thinking about it for a long time. It takes a while to build stuff. And there's like a million of Yeah. They bought the land. It's, it's, I think it's Goose Island. Oh, we got a missing shoe. <gasps> we got a little dessert from France. I always forget this is back here. Drinks and little snicky snacks. And tables. It's roasted chickpeas, but they close at eight. Oh, we just missed it. I always forget this is here. My little treat for the night. 
that I'm gonna share with this one. The pomegranate citrus slush from Morocco, and it is so good. It is really, really good. I think I've had the mint one there before. I don't think I've had this one. Maybe I have, it's just extra, extra good. Peter is gonna get, what are you gonna get? Seven hopper. Yeah, um, all of this for a little, a little treat for our week that we've had. If you watched our vlog yesterday, you will have known that we didn't vlog Monday through Wednesday. We were thrown for a loop with Peter working in the office. Um, and this is our first night out, so you know us. You know the music? It's Awesome Mix Live. <laughs> I wish they'd bring, I really thought that they would bring it back this summer. <laughs> Teddy wants to get in this display. Don't stop me now. But yeah, we like, we like a pick me up. I also really want to eat at this restaurant right here. I don't even think we really knew about it until recently. It feels like it's going to be like a chef's table experience. Yeah. Four different rooms, different meals and drinks and everyone. Artisanal. What is it, two or three hundred a person? Two fifty or two sixty a person. I think it's you have to be eight years or older. We'll get there, Sarah. Oh, she's turning on. Woo! Yes. All right, so the Brookharts are dividing and conquering. Teddy and me are going to Germany because it's 8.30 and we don't think we're actually going to make it. Look at that show going on. It's the Epcot flower over there. Booyah. Uh, we're going to go to Germany. Get me a beer while Sarah and Teddy, Sarah and James stroll. We're gonna go to Germany and backtrack. Mad! Who's happy? Let's find someone who's happy. Are they, ha are they, are they happy? Yeah, he's happy. Happy. We're, um, we're learning emotions right now. Yay! Yay! Yeah, so I got the drink. The kids got the dessert. Peter's getting his beer. We will take any excuse for a little treat, a little reward. I mean, let's face it, we're like always snacking around World Showcase, but it's fun. It's fun to have a reason. Always the trick. When there's a line over here, they have a cart with Schopenhauer. Teddy's loving all the music. He keeps like just shaking his whole body. But I was saying a little bit ago, and I don't know if the clip was too loud, if the normal Schopenhauer like beer booth has got a line, Schopenhauer sold it the, the cart, the pretzel cart, closer to the water. There's almost never a line there. Just now there was like seven people deep in the pavilion. Walk up. Got my Schopenhauer. Also, when in doubt, bring some toys for the kids. Sometimes as magical as all this is, sometimes Forky is more magical. Gotta get every last drop. We're at this little table in Japan. It's probably the most peaceful moment we've had all night. Um, this, this, this collection of plants was making very Teddy happy, and so we're hanging out, and all of a sudden I heard something, and I was like, what is that? Yep. Just a frog hanging out. So they literally gave us a five minute warning just now for Epcot forever, and look what happened. You know what though, I wouldn't be surprised if he stays asleep.
gonna do the talking right now because I'm gonna be doing the driving. <laughs> so we sat at the Italy Pavilion for fireworks yeah. and we had Teddy like right next to the fountain and it was like the perfect natural rain noise like that we use in his room to get him to go to sleep. He fell asleep, Stayed asleep. watched the fireworks. It was the greatest people of all of us saw the high ones. James was getting a kick out of uh, the buildings in Italy yeah. getting like lit up. But it was a great spot. And we like finished, like, we walked out to enjoy the finale and Walt talking. It was nice. Yeah, there's an after hours event tonight. And so, like, people are coming in, and the, the park is still very much so alive. Um, it's very fun. But we're headed out. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. <laughs> yes, we have never seen this butterfly light up in the front in the Encanto topiary. So cute. Also, flowering garden it has been going on since we moved here and I don't even know if I'm ready to say goodbye. Two more weeks of flowering garden, right? Just about? I thought I was just going to be here forever. <laughs> you know, like two weeks now, I'm kind of sad. I know. And, and then? Think about we get what we get, what we get, what we want to get. I know. What comes after? I just glitched. What comes after? Food and wine. Food and wine. Everybody, Everybody loves food and wine. Good morning. <laughs> We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so we. <laughs> I just, I just if you did. enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. <laughs> we, Happy Friday. I looked at the clock during that intro because I was like, make sure it was morning. Is it really morning? Because it's been, it's been such a long a morning. morning already. <laughs> James, he had speech therapy at 7:30 a.m. Too early for everybody. All. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's still warming up to it. He did take a sticker today, so that was progress. But so far, the at-home speech yeah. therapy is going much better than the in-the-hospital therapy. Yeah, he, it's just, it's his personality. He doesn't want to, he likes to play, but we're, we're working on some things to get him to crack. Um, but yeah, taking the sticker was good. We literally leave the room and he starts hopping and <laughs> singing his duck and goose song. And I'm just like, we have plans to go to Hollywood Studios today. It's Friday. We got a little drink from Dunkin' Donuts. So good. Teddy's down for his nap, first nap. Yeah. Gotta look at it, figure out our lives to see. Um, Sarah might take the boys to Hollywood Studios while I'm working. So on my yeah. lunch break, we will probably drive over. Maybe I'll take this guy on the Riviera or something. To finish my work day from there. Yeah, so that's our Friday plan. Mm -hmm. Skip when I jump over here, I'm joining Sarah and the boys for lunch at Primo Piatto. Yay! James is taking the nap. That's some living right there. Ted. And Teddy's a one-man show over here. It might rain. We're just gonna... We came semi-prepared this time. Yeah, that's true. No cover for the stroller because we don't have one for the single city mini. Yeah. But in massive and umbrella. Single so that James could stay asleep on the Skyliner. But we have umbrella. And we're inside. Umbrella. We have umbrella. Big one. <laughs> Our food has arrived. Here's a spicy tuna salad. Wow. A spicy Italian sandwich. And hopefully a very delicious ten dollar meatball. With a piece of bread. So that meatball was worth twenty dollars. It was so tasty, and we we basically just like shared all of the food, and everything was so good. It was like I know that we have gone there before and loved it, but it just like reinstated. Like it was worth. Like we, I mean, you guys know us. We're like very easy to please, 
but we have like eaten out at Hollywood Studios a couple of times like kind of recently as far as quick service goes and it's just such a nice option to just take the Skyliner over to the Riviera and eat at their quick service um, so yummy so many good options just like really good quality food it doesn't taste like when you think like you're at a theme park and you like are thinking about your options it's just like next level food so so tasty um, whoa James and I are playing in the sand by the water the Skyliner is back up that's good so it started to rain and lightning and thunder while we were eating um, and then Peter is walking around with Teddy in the hopes that he falls asleep the nice thing is <gasps> It sees a lizard. Um, the nice thing is it helps like the temperature a lot. It feels really nice out. It is still supposed to rain more. What is so shocking? <coughs> oh god! Bless you. It is supposed to rain a little bit more later in the evening, but maybe it won't. Maybe the radar, maybe the forecast will be wrong. So we're walking from Riviera to Caribbean and James is absolutely loving each one of these rocks. He wants to like look in the little crevices and everything. Let's go! Sometimes when you skip naps and it's been an off and on stormy day, you just gotta play in the sand with your brother. Yeah, it looks like the rain, I mean that looks like rain, but the rain's supposed to be gone for the rest of the evening. We're gonna leave the wonderful Riviera in Caribbean. Um, we're quite sandy. The boys had a lovely like over hour playing in the sand. Relaxed and joyous and he's a little naughty. Yeah, like he he's is. learning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we think we're gonna go to Crescent Lake and then go ahead and check out those resorts before potentially going to Hollywood Studios yeah. to finish out the night. I was hoping the rain would drive away some crowds, but like Mickey Minnie's is like 70 minute wait. So we'll, like we'll keep an eye on it. Right, because I was thinking like, oh we could go to studios now. But the wait times are long, so maybe later we'll do better. Yeah. Going up, up, up. All right, we were gonna head home because this man fell asleep, but we realized that this man was probably gonna fall asleep and never drive home. Yeah, that's true. And he hadn't eaten dinner yet, so we're like, we're gonna go in all the studios to get dinner because that's the weird life we live. I mean, we risk falling asleep, and he's had food today, but that's like we needed like something. Yeah, we needed a dinner. Okay, here is 20 seconds of just Sunset Boulevard ambiance. Don't tell him how late it is, okay? Don't tell him. <sighs> what have we been up to? <laughs> Our last clip was on Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> we got home. Mm -hmm. Got the kids ready for bed. Put them to bed. You started editing. I cleaned up the joint. Mm -hmm. Then I watched. Started watching. The holiday. Yeah, so it's nice. We've been having that on. I added it down here. We got an early morning. We're gonna rope drop Animal Kingdom with some pails. Whatever. Yeah, so. <sighs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. What a week. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.